And we have some great springtime weather, but spring runs on its own timetable, depending on where you are. That is true. Just go to any corner of the, of the country. It gets crazy. Yeah. In fact, look at the extremes we've got tonight. I'll remind you, the white colors are winter. Mm -hmm. The red colors are the bad part of spring. And the green can be bad colors for spring, too. Those are flood watches and warnings. Red boxes, tornado watches continuing through Illinois, back into Missouri, down into Oklahoma. And this is for feet of snow across portions of the Dakotas into Minnesota, all under these clouds, pushing, thankfully, to the northeast away from us. But the trailing front, which has developed some severe weather today, that will hold together and come in our direction. We don't think it'll be that severe when it gets here, but we do think some showers and thunderstorms are coming our way. Though tonight we're looking just fine, and we got Got a beautiful sunset. Frank Pinto took this from Paris Island. Looking out, oh, that is just gorgeous. Looking back across the marsh, beautiful colors. Thank you, Frank. Appreciate the picture. Love to see your pictures at pics at WTOC.com. And if you're staying in the low country tomorrow, you want to see this forecast for round one of the heritage. Expect partly cloudy skies, a mix of sun and clouds. Note the east winds 8 to 11, gusting to 21, especially for those with the afternoon tea times. 77 should be the afternoon high at Harbor Town. We were at 82 and 59 here in Savannah. The normals, the records, still over two inches above normal in terms of precipitation and more rains coming. Rain that will hopefully wash away the pollen count, which jumped from 3,000 up above 5,000 for today. Again, tree pollens were the big culprit. Right now, we've got partly to mostly cloudy skies, 68 degrees, 87 percent relative humidity, just a light southeasterly breeze, no visibility problems here. But in coastal areas, we expect more patchy fog to develop and could see some fog farther inland. Here's the troublemaker crossing the Mississippi River during the day Thursday, Friday. By Friday afternoon, it comes to this position and passes us late Friday night into early Saturday morning. Look how the rain hangs behind the front. That's what's going to cause us our weekend problems for weekend activities, I'm afraid. 755 low tide, 213 our next high tide, 755 sunrise and sunset. That's for tomorrow for Mariners. Low risk of rift currents with an east wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Hour. For tonight, 60 for a low, some patchy fog overnight, just a light east breeze from that 60, 80 for tomorrow. 20% chance of afternoon showers and onshore flow, 64 tomorrow night. Look at Friday, 83, a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Most of that rain will be late Friday, overnight Friday into Saturday. And now Saturday has a 50-50 chance of showers, I'm afraid. We'll get one good day out of the deal, that would be Sunday. Dry conditions after that into the far start of the next week, with temperatures in the 70s warming again to 80 overnight lows in the 50s. 60 tonight. Watch for some patchy fog first thing in the morning. Follow us on Twitter at Big John Weather. Thanks, John. Well, John's already talked about the wintry weather. You want